This empty yard needs a full-on facelift. Hey! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm transforming it into a suburban retreat with modern flair hidden from prying eyes. It's going to be perfect, isn't it? Always is. Bit of a chilly day, but winter is just about done. And we are in an old neighborhood with a brand new house. It's an absolutely gorgeous looking house, very contemporary feel. Love the huge windows, which are looking out onto a very boring square yard with nothing going on. The outside perimeter I actually really like. We've got lots of uh, mature trees here that are really gonna fill in in the summertime. Well, I mean, well, except for the biggest dead looking tree I've ever seen in my life. I don't think that's filling in anytime soon. We have this existing builder deck, which is actually not badly built. I think I would like to utilize that, see the barbecue up there. But whenever I see windows like this, I do not want to block the light. That is a, that is a crime. And I want to get the deck nice, low, right down to the ground very, very quickly and create a focal point out here, something with a very cool area structure that you can see from inside the house all seasons long. So uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Let's see what they think. John and Olga are busy working parents who just moved from a downtown condo to the suburbs. They want a modern deck that's private and has room to relax with their young kids. We want to be able to look at the deck as kind of an extension of uh, the family area inside the house where the kids can play, and kind of an outdoor oasis. What's your dream? What would you like to see take place? Well, we would see something that would incorporate area to entertain, to relax, to cook. We have a fence but still looking for more privacy. So Something just like the that. whole shebang? Yes. You want it all? Yes. We are very busy as parents, as people at work. We would like to have a, a deck that uh, would help us to relax. We do have a very strong center line here to the house and maybe creating something that is a focal point right out here, right pretty much where I'm standing that really draws the eye and maybe we can do some sort of cool aerial structure there as well and, you know, and create that privacy, but something that really just kind of has a wow factor that you see through those big large windows. Yes. Sound good? Sounds great. Sounds great. Yeah. I will come up with a concept. I will show you guys. No, no, don't. It's cold. <laughs> don't take the glove off. What are you out of your mind? And, and we'll get started. Let's, uh, let's create a haven both for adults and for kids. What does that sound like? Sounds perfect. Perfect. Right out the back doors, I'm going to build a beefed up barbecue area on the upper level, complete with an outdoor fridge and a large prep counter. Down the angled staircase, I've designed a large, low-lying dining area with extra space for the kids to move around. It's bordered by a decorative aerial structure that also creates privacy, and it's accessed on both sides by a short step up from the garden. Finally, the main attraction of the deck is an elevated central lounge area. A grand square pergola with majestic cedar columns surrounds the space, and two modern privacy screens give it a cozy, secluded feel. But first, time to get Holland. First official day of construction, and uh, the dirty work's been done. Our holes have been dug, concrete's been poured, saddles are in place. Lumber is here, and we're going to be building things today. But before we do that, we're going to be taking the surface off of this old deck. We're going to be reusing the old beam underneath, which is nice and sturdy and strong. And it's going to be part of our new structure. And as soon as we're done that, we will be officially go for launch. I'm playing nail javelin. Hey! Pulling nails. <laughs> I'm trying to get them as high as I can because it's more fun that way. Uh, oh, sweet. Oh, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Oh. oh, hit the cameraman. <laughs> right. Degree of difficulty is unreal. There, Kate. Hey! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, 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 nailed it! <laughs> Fantastic.
The minute I walked into this yard, I saw the house with a big set of windows. I said, this has got to have something right out here in the middle of the yard. That when you're looking from the inside out, it's like a picture frame looking at something beautiful outside. So you're starting to see the beginnings of the pergola section that's going to go here. We're going to have these really awesome epic screens that are going to be illuminated. So you're going to see that from inside the house all year round. So it's going to create just a fantastic view. And look at the way everything lines up. When things line up like this, you get chills. All right, so we've got all of our beams done. So now Pat and I are going to start putting in the joists. And the joists basically go from beam to beam, and that's what holds up all your deck boards. Now, these joists are in an integrated pattern, so they're basically running right into the beams on both sides, and we're going to have to put hangers on them to hold them. Whereas over there in the big square, we're going to do a bearing style, and they're going to be sitting on top of the beams, which requires no hangers. Eat it, joists. These are always my favorite days. We come in in the morning, and there's just a big pile of lumber and a bunch of footings in the ground and nothing else. And at the end of the day, blamo! We got ourselves the makings of a pretty awesome-looking deck project. Good production on the framing. Uh, we got our posts up in the air, getting ready for the aero structures that we're going to be starting later. Upper deck has already been uh, reframed, so we're just got to finish that, bolting, blocking. And then we're moving on to decking and some other cool features that are going to be a bit of a surprise. You don't have to wait for them. Decking. Uh, shuffle? Decking. Okay. Okay. What do you mean shuffle? That's not a thing. <laughs> I can't just shuffle. The old deck is gone and the new foundation is in. Joey's aiming hey. high. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> this suburban retreat is well underway. Framework is officially done. Everything is bolted, everything is blocked. The joist hangers in place. It is fully strong and ready for decking. Decking is here. And even though we have ominous clouds moving in, which is just part of the decking world, it's really nice when you have these posts over your head because should the rain come, we have a big blue tarp. It'll form a nice little blue hat. We'll all work in this area. Mother Nature may try and stop us, but she doesn't always win. The decking pattern is a huge factor in any design I come up with because it encourages proper traffic flow. And in this design, I want everything to lead to this center lounge. So we got two patterns going off a center line, but I don't want the center line to be too obvious. So that's why I'm using a herringbone pattern like you see here, which kind of more of a gentle weave of the two patterns into one line. So it's a lot more time consuming to put it in this way, but it's going to be perfect, isn't it? Oh, is this. We've had to add a few more blocks before we start decking this lower level. When you have a jumble of angled joists and beams, an easy way to get a lot of your blocks cut quickly is to lay a long piece of board and trace the underside along your joists. You flip the board over and you've got your template for a long line of blocks. Quick and easy. on decking and we're actually pretty far ahead of schedule so uh thought i'd slow down productivity a little by seeing if they could deck as one oh, <laughs> such a bad yeah. idea three-legged decking <laughs> <laughs> okay how am i supposed to get it okay oh Here. okay oh. okay now we're thinking <laughs> yeah. right, that's working a little too well <laughs> now shuffle okay Okay. What do you mean shuffle? That's not a thing when you have sick... Why am I in the middle of this? I can't just shuffle. <laughs> Load it up. Uh, Pat, you want to pass the board? No, I'm cutting. <laughs> Wait, I have to go to the bathroom. Nope, got to hold it. Uh, hold it? Yep. All right. Oh, that's on you. It might be. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Good -bye. <laughs> We've got, like... I find myself. <laughs> Done! That's <laughs> decking. 
nice sunny day, and today is pergola day. So we're gonna start working on the pergola area here, which is gonna be the real big focal point of the whole project. Jeff is coming in to discuss the perimeter, which right now is just wet grass. And we're also gonna work on the barbecue area on the upper level, start building some bar tables. But the only problem is, is that over there it's shaded and cold, and here it's nice and sunny and warm. So it's, uh, I think it's uh, rock, paper, scissors to determine who gets to work where. I need to get my tan on. <laughs> Hey, Paul. Jeff. How's it going? Good, pal. How are you? Not too bad. So, very contemporary design. What do you think? I like all the different lines and levels on the deck. The house is big, nice big windows. The house is very square, a lot of really kind of hard, hard lines, mostly angles, mm -hmm. um, but have some issues with the perimeter, clearly. Since this will be like the main walk-off area, a nice big stone landing there, maybe go with some softer shapes, some more flowing lines, just that way it will kind of soften all the rigid lines that you have going there. Break the hard lines up, yep. Carry that same shape all the way around the perimeter. Nice. Uh, I'm actually not sure what's gonna happen here yet. I got the two posts, I got a beam going over the top. I'd actually really like to, like to see a green screen right there. The one area off to the side, it's a little bit lost from the rest of the deck. Um, it's, ba it's basically backing onto the fence, which is kind of boring. So what I want to put in is a nice green screen. It will help tie that in with the rest of the backyard and the rest of the garden, as well as soften the entire area. Area. Be an awesome focal feature as well. Awesome, buddy. All right. Good to see you as usual. So now that I finished the framing of the barbecue area up on the upper level, we are now finishing it off with a precast cement that is made to look like a stone veneer. It goes on almost like siding. And to make short work of it, we use our handy grinder. And it's got a concrete blade on it. Cuts right through this stuff like butter. Anytime I'm using a different medium like stone on a project, I like to kind of make sure there's it's represented in all different areas. So we're going to have stone over there by the, where the green wall is. We're going to have another stone planter there by the bar. And this just kind of brings the balance to the whole shebang. Really happy with the production today. I'm loving the way the stone is working. I think it's really gonna make everything pop inside the pergola. We're also gonna do the stone on the backside. And so railings and stairs, and most of all, lighting. Lighting is gonna be the real big focal point of the whole job. And uh, that's coming up next. Uh-oh, uh-oh, you're gonna jam it. Pull it out, Back it out, back it out. Oh. Oh, it's stranger that they're doing it or that we're all watching. <laughs> The decking is down and we're powering through. The stone cladding is up. This yard is beginning to bloom. I need to get my tan on. All right, we are moving right along. The lounge area is looking pretty awesome. We're going to be doing lighting in here today, working on screens. We have the stone up on the front side and the back side now. And uh, we got the planter already framed up and in place for the green wall that Jeff's going to be doing. So we're going to be putting stone around that planter. And up here in our cellar barbecue zone, we have uh, some cedar already to do our windbreak around this particular territory. It's going to be an awesome looking zone. And to top it all off, we also have Heidi coming in. And, you know, because we make the deck look pretty. And then Heidi comes in and makes it look prettier. -er. Hello, Heidi. How are you? I'm great. How are you keeping? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. What do you I think? I love this deck. The whole point of this design is this center lounge area. We've got these huge windows, so what we use in here is up to you. Okay. And Jeff's doing a very cool green screen over here, so what do you think? All right, well, this is a busy, busy family. Yes. They've got twin boys that are two years old. They've got a little girl that's four. Mm -hmm. So everything we put in here has to be durable and kid-friendly. Yes. And I don't really want to overfill the space either, so there's space for them to run around. Okay. So what I think I'll do is I'll put a smaller scale table over here. Okay. Um, if this is going to be this great feature wall, I want to make sure that's accentuated in some way. So a couple of lounge chairs, a coffee table. And then we have this spot. I think you've just made it suit a sectional perfectly. So Paul has created this great private area for the lounge. So I want to add to that. And I'm going to have the sectional facing in towards the house rather than out towards the neighbors. And it's going to feel really, really warm and cozy. 
So the corner sits here. Corner sits there. Lines up perfectly with the center line of the design. Yes. I like where you're going with this. All right. Well, as per usual, honey, I'll see you in a bit. Boom. Right now I'm working on our flagstone landing, um, except that the flagstone that we're using is actually a wall stone. So it's been cut into these six inch wide, uh, basically planks. Uh, so I want to do something a little bit different. So I'm actually laying them perpendicular to the deck, but it's actually tying in really well with the different colors and lines of the deck. Oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> You're the piano man. <laughs> All right, finally getting down to the fun stuff, and uh, it's custom screen time. And this is what we're going to be focusing on. Very cool metal artwork. It's all been laser cut. It's amazing. Basic any design that you can come up with can be laser cut into metal. So we're going to be taking this here. We're going to be mounting it into the frame that we've been working on. As you can see, all this custom cutting that's been going in. So this groove here is going to be for metal. That's going to be for LED lighting. And this is going to be glass that's going to be going in later. Level. Right there, right there, right there. Oh, you're gonna jam it. Pull it out. Back pull it out, out. Back it out. <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> ah! you know, it's stranger that they're doing it or that we're all watching. <laughs> that is how you bore out a piece of wood for hidden wiring. All right, the skies have opened up on us, and uh, we're getting soaked, so we're going to pack up in a real quick hurry. Uh, we did get a good start on the planter, where Jeff's green screens are going to go. And lighting has been started in here. We shut it off now because of the rain, but uh, really excited about how this is all going to be illuminated. And when this thing is done, it's really going to shine. All right, crazy final day, and we are just about done. Barbecue is in place. Lights are all in. They're looking absolutely bangerang soon. It's going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. All right, you two, see if you recognize your backyard now. There. We've got modern privacy screens, and Jeff's flagstone landing is singing. <laughs> There's stone everywhere, and the pergola is looking mighty majestic. All right, crazy final day, and we are just about done. We're cleaning the living daylights out of everything. Jeff's done an incredible job all around the perimeter of the deck, and soon the green screens are going to be going up, and I can't wait to see what that looks like. Heidi's going to be coming in soon to style everything, which is always fun. Upper level's done. Barbecue is in place. The railings going down the stairs look really good. Lights are all in. They're looking absolutely bangerang. And uh, soon, it's going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. The sight lines on this deck are very important. This area was a bit of a dead space, so I wanted to put in this really nice ivy green screen. This green screen works by having this planted pot in the bottom, and this is actually where all the roots and the plant is actually growing out of. So we have this ivy that's crawling up. It will block the view, but it will also remain really soft looking. Paul has put some really great soothing tones on this deck. Soft grays, soft browns, so I wanted to tie that in with the furniture that I chose. This resin wicker weave is fantastic. It's got a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray, a little bit of the earth tones. Now the fabric, I wanted this to be really, really kid friendly. Kids can spill on this, you can wipe it off. It's not gonna show the dirt that easily. Now we're talking. For me, an outdoor living space has got to have a visually pleasing draw, not just when you're out here, but when you're inside the house as well. This house has these gorgeous windows that before were just looking out into a bland patch of grass. Now, when you look outside, you're seeing a wonderful outdoor retreat that has elements everywhere, but the whole thing is anchored by this center lounge area. Jeff did a fantastic job around the exterior, and I love these green screens. And Heidi just did a fantastic job with the styling. Let's get them. All right, you two. See if you recognize your backyard now. Wow. Oh, wow. Terrific. Amazing. Amazing. Wow, doesn't, thank you, Paul. Doesn't look like our place but it was before. It's terrific. I'm speechless. Wow. Yeah. Come on up. Come on up. Wow, this feels so 
calm. You feel the vibe? Yes. You feel the vibe? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes yeah. Nice, nice space for dining, but room for the kids. It feels like it's a five-star resort. <laughs> I'm going to be spending lots of time here on the deck with my kids, with John, guests. Looks fantastic. I really love this. <laughs> That's a green screen. Jeff put it in. It's going to totally fill out. And we have lights that are going to shine up on that at night. It takes my breath away. Yeah? Yes. You guys have got to check out the lounge zone. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Isn't that nice? That's yeah. amazing. It's own wow. little space. Yeah. It's great. Nice little cabana room like you get in South Beach. And hide this furniture. Much is perfectly designed of the deck. Very soft and cozy. Looks great. Looks great? Yeah, it's, it's all working. Now, I want you to check these screens out. Wow. Wow. Isn't that nice? That's yeah. amazing. Very unique. I totally love it. Yeah, pretty nice. Fantastic. We got the LED lights that are going all around the interior of them. And we got lighting all the way across this whole area at night. This place just is going to have a soft, inviting glow. And your new outdoor kitchen zone. Wow. Oh, wow. Look, Look at that. Look at that. And, you know, it has an outdoor fridge. Yeah, and that's where we keep all the necessary stuff. All what the necessary fridge. stuff. That's terrific. I know when you first walked in, you were kind of looking at the overall picture, but Jeff did a fantastic job. Wow. Oh, wow. Amazing. Amazing. The landscape is fantastic. Isn't and, it nice? Uh, I can tell that it's uh, low maintenance. Uh, garden, which is perfect for us. Exactly. I'm happy. Yes. <laughs> you made me happy today. I did. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to mess with that. When she's happy, I'm happy. John. Thanks, Paul. You're very, very welcome, Olga. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. It's a very satisfying feeling to take an unused patch of grass and create an extension of the home that feels like a family vacation spot. They totally loved it. And as they were walking around on the deck, you can see the relaxation settling in. And for me, that's what it's all about. So this is our landscape fabric. We lay it down underneath all of our decks, but they also double as uh, punching bags. Pat? No, the punch. No. Oh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> How did that happen? It was a right hook. Are you OK? Pat didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. <laughs>